What is up, game changers and soul warriors? My name, well, what spirit calls me, is Juniper Blue Mystique. But my real name is just simply Brianna. I'm not your regular preacher. I'm not anything you're really ever used to hearing from. <laughs> so bear with me. I am an Ascension Master, Master Healer, and Divine Guide. That is the simplest terms for me to describe who I am to you. I am the one who brought about the ascension. Now, feel me out. I can explain and I can also prove this to you. What does that mean? What even is the ascension, right? The ascension is the return of Christ, okay? Your world is changing around you. Now, today I'm going to talk to you about the biggest misconception, the biggest lie that you need to take warning from, okay? Because if you believe this lie, you're in danger, and it is the biggest one out of the many upon millions that they have convinced you of, okay? Now, first of all, my journey was part of my own awakening. We are all experiencing an awakening into the truths. So just because you don't know the truth does not make you any less than, okay? They have fed us all untruths repeatedly, feeding them to you, making you eat them and making you drink them and making you pray to a false god. Now, you can go ahead and believe, well, maybe the rapture isn't real. Maybe the end of days and end of times isn't really happening. I would say warning to that as well, okay? I was not somebody who was religious. I was even not somebody who was spiritual. I believed in God in my heart, and I always followed that. But I didn't follow anything else like the collective whole, okay? I was a single mom trying to survive abuse of my own that I endured and to be a better mom every day. That's who I was and what I was doing. Now we're going to talk about the biggest lie being that of Jesus dying for your sins. This is a lie. Okay. If you believe this, if you believe Jesus died for your sins, then you're in trouble. Okay. Because he did not. If you believe you have to repent to God in order to be forgiven, in order to make it through the gates, you're wrong. Because God is unforgiving. He doesn't, he doesn't hold what that means is let me let me let me fix that phrase. God doesn't hold grudges against anybody, right? He is all forgiving. There we go. He um forgives everybody. He's nothing but love. The actual vibration of God is love, pure, unconditional love. So if I convince you that he, he died for your sins, just repent, just ask for forgiveness, beg for forgiveness, pray for forgiveness every day, which is what I saw somebody convincing people of yesterday. God put this video in my face and then I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning with this heavy on my heart and an urgency to share it because we are being called home. The final days are quickly approaching. We only have a little less than two years left. Okay. And all of these changes are about to just really hit boom, 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 boom. And one of them is the false church. Okay. The false house of God, for it is time to truly bring God back in where he belongs. Now, here's the other misconception is that Jesus is only a man. What do I mean by that? I can explain this. He is a man, right? But he is not one soul. This is where we are also wrong. Everybody's expecting just a man and they're wrong. Okay. It's actually a male and a female. How do I know this? Think of Adam and Eve. What happened to Adam and Eve? Why is nobody talking? Is it just Jesus that only existed? Well, right. And if I'm already sparking judgment in you, give me a moment because I can prove everything I'm telling you. Okay. I'm going to quickly do things. I'm going to share screens with you. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of everything because this is super important. Anything outside of free will is not of God. Okay. Anything outside of free will is not of God. And to, did you guys see that? I don't know if that was fuzz or what. I don't know how it'd be fuzz because there's no like air, but just to believe in a masculine, right? Wait, wait, Adam and Eve. Okay, so this is the biggest crap they feed you. 
Jesus died on a cross for your sins. God wrapped up all of those sins into his death so you can be forgiven. So just hold that in your heart and pray your way home. You won't get there. Oh, all you have to do is to be able to see Jesus. Well, most people can't even see that because they're looking for one individual soul. Did you forget about Jesus and Mary Magdalene were twin flames? What about Adam and Eve? God made Adam and Eve. He actually made Eve and Adam <laughs> at the same time. Adam and Eve, same time, same soul with two separate components and two similar components. Do you remember twin flames? So they've convinced you that it's just man that is God. Mm -mm. You know why some people think that God is a female and God is a masculine. So when I sit here and tell people, guess what, dude, I brought about the ascension. They're like, yeah, right. <laughs> There's going to be a guy. We're waiting for Jesus. Or they don't believe it at all. Right. Jesus didn't die on a cross. Now, hold on. The problem is I can show you the proof. You have to watch it right? Because here's the thing. If I tell you that Jesus died for your sins, I'm taking away your free will. Anything outside of free will is not of God. Do you understand that? Which is why when they were trying to force things down your throat, if you don't do this, we're going to hurt you. If you don't do this, you can't work. You can't do this. You can't. That's against free will. Okay. God can't do that. Everybody wants to blame God for all the suffering, for all the torture, for death. That's not God. Okay. Back to the beginning of Adam and Eve, my friends. Let's not forget that. There was a masculine and a feminine. That was God's children. Those were direct descendants of God. And that was the first part of my life that I had to clear. When I had my Kundalini awakening in 2019, it was unexpected. It's not like I went to somebody and said, oh, please heal me. Give me a Kundalini awakening. I didn't care to believe in that stuff. I believed in God and here, and that's all I needed. And that's what I would follow throughout my life. And until that nudged me to do something, that's why I had my awakening in 2019. Okay. I just wasn't nudged to do anything until then. Once I was, I followed it. That's fuzz. I followed it every which way. Okay. So I am constant. This is why God said, you're not done. He told me the other day, I'm not done. There's work to do because there's so many misconceptions. There's so many people thinking they know the truth. There's so many pre people preaching a false word and getting people to wholeheartedly believe it. And then they fall prey and they don't make it through. Here's the thing about that. Okay. Let me show you something. Some people have already seen this. Um, but very few have actually watched the proof. Okay. You see the screen? This is my YouTube channel. I'm not promoting myself. I only have 392 subscribers. I've been working my ass off for years doing this. And my goal is not to impress you. My goal is not to prove that I'm better than anybody. Okay. My goal, I don't, I don't need to convince you of anything. I am doing what God told me to do. That's all I've ever done. Okay. No matter what people thought of me, no matter how many family or friends I may have lost along the way, I am doing what God has told me to do. And I'm here to deliver his word, hoping that those who truly are loyal to him, those who truly have him in our hearts can make their way home because I hold the keys. And why am I saying that? This is not my ego. Please understand this. I actually don't have much of one. I've had to heal every bit of my past lives. And so will all of you. So part of what I've undone is I've brought about the ascension, okay? And part of what I've undone is the portal of time. That was the Sphinx. Okay, hang on. This is true. All right. God had me create this channel. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I fought him the whole way because I am not a social butterfly. Because why? People judge, not God. God does not judge you. God is not going to say, oh, let me think if I forgive you. Are you praying hard enough for me to forgive you? That's not God. Do you believe in your heart that Jesus died for your sins? Please don't. Because he did not. He didn't die on a cross. Okay. 
This one was done quite a few years ago now. It was done in 2021, I believe. Um, 2020, 2020, 21, because I did Mount, Sh I can't even remember, hang on. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, I did them so long ago. Um, and see what would happen to me is I had my Kundalini awakening and then all of a sudden these things were, I would see things. So they did show me lizards and skin suits, which I freaked out about and Biden being one of them. And I was like, whoa, you're telling me that's real or I'm crazy too, right? This was my first thought. Then all of a sudden I saw the Bible. These were visions that I got after my awakening. And I don't give people all aspects. I usually go very quickly through these, but God is telling me now to slow down. God is telling me to tell the details. God is telling me to tell the truth, to call people home in the right place where they won't make it. Because the end of days, the end of ways is what it truly is, is now. It's the end of suffering. There's a reason I call you game changers, okay? Because this is the end game. And we are here to change what this place was. It will no longer be what you knew it as, which was all false. God didn't torture. God doesn't kill. God doesn't make you suffer. It's all through free will, okay? So take your power back. All right. So if you think Jesus died for your sins, you're not in your power. That's power taken from you. That means, oh, you can send all you want. This is why they would tell you that you can send all you want and you'll be forgiven. As if some people won't be forgiven by God. That is the biggest bullshit you've ever heard. Okay. So after I started getting those images, okay, the rising of Jesus Christ, this actually came through. Let's see. I might've wrote the date down. Uh, gosh, I'm trying to remember the exact year. It was, it was August 7th of 2021. Okay. This was uploaded in 2022. Again, it was re-uploaded, but the actual workshop right here, I did in August of 2021. Okay. But let me go back a little bit because this is how I found out how Jesus died because I started processing that then. He, I actually freed his soul. Um, what you guys don't realize is that depiction of him on a cross was because they were basically holding his soul captive. Let's go back to Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary Magdalene, and Sekhmet and Horus are the same lifetimes. Not the same lifetimes. Same soul, different lifetimes. It's like 5 a.m. here. Let me have my coffee. <laughs> this is why I also have to slow down. And I get a little bit afraid to show this because people don't look for the truth. They just judge, which they assume God judges too, because, oh my gosh, you know, geez, Jesus, why would he torture his own child for your sins? That absolutely, that's ego. Okay. That's ego. It's judgment and it goes against free will. And none of those are of God. This is the end of days, meaning or the end of ways. Some people it's the end of days, but not for all. It is the end of ways for all. Okay. So all of your lifetimes through the portal of time, which was the Sphinx, but I didn't do that one yet. That was done right here. Okay. This one was done in June of 2021. Okay. June of 2021. These are workshops. So I had my awakening. I was just walking around in my normal life. Do, 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 do had a hard life. You know, I was a good person though, just raising my kids. The only vice I really had was smoking pot. That is the only vice that I had. Uh, minus not loving myself, right? <laughs> right. It was really hard to love ourselves in this crazy world. Um, and the reason I'm showing you guys this is because spirit had me upload these or I never would have. I never would have. And do you see this cross on me? It is not the regular cross. It is the onk. The onk is the only true cross. It represents masculine and feminine union right? in the circle of life. Okay. So Jesus didn't die on a cross. After I started getting these images of a, a lizard person in a skin suit and the skin fell off, it was really gross and it was Biden's. Then I saw the Bible and the words started popping up on the Bible. Now, mind you, I've never re read the Bible. I didn't go to church. It was scary to me. Church was like very judgmental and it didn't make sense to me and it never felt good. I tried it a few times when I was a kid because I was always searching for something outside of where I was. 
because I grew up in a very painful, painful reality. And I didn't match that reality. So I was always looking for something, an explanation. And like most people, you go through a phase where it's like, why would you torture me? Why is there pain, God, right? Why is there suffrage? And yet we have a God. Go back to Adam and Eve. Okay. God made Adam and Eve. All right. I'm going to go back to this. These are workshops. They're up on here. They're not the entire path. But these are pieces of the path of the ascension that I brought about clearing Mount Shasta, the rising of Jesus Christ. I had his, his, I saw how he died, which was not on a cross. This was only part one of that. There was another one of those where I actually united Jesus and Mary Magdalene and undid the false grail. Okay. It was not holy at all. And I'll explain that. Then I activated pyramids all over the world. Okay. I also cleared the Nile. That was part of what I did this last year, this year. Okay. Mount Shasta part two. These are portals. We only have two years left. Okay. Here's the Ankh, the truth about the Ankh, the true cross. These were all coming to me in my awakening. Okay. Um, the work that I do is causing the ascension. And I noticed that years ago. All right. Um, Again, resurrection of Christ, uniting twin flames. Now, wait a minute. You're expecting Jesus. One man. That's only half. Okay, now here's the thing. Why would I expect everybody to listen to God when Jesus didn't even this lifetime? Whoa, right? That might spark some controversy in itself. Okay. People will be like, she don't know what she's talking about. Yes, I do because my twin flame died my original one. I had a walk-in one who still refused to listen to God. So it's that ingrained in you to be afraid of love. It's that ingrained of you in you to not understand love. If you truly believe Jesus died for your sins, you're in trouble. If you truly believe this is not the end of ways, you're also in trouble, but I know it's in your heart. The only problem is you need healing to get there. Okay. So after I started seeing these things, they were nudging me to do healings. And I didn't even know what those were. All of a sudden, I started doing healings on people. I didn't know. I was like, I didn't go to school for it. You understand? I didn't read a book on how to do it. It was just coming. People would be on these forums that I was in. And they're like, oh, I don't feel good. Can somebody help me? And all of a sudden, I would get this nudge to, I can do that. And I would go, just go within. And all of a sudden, I could see the insides of their body. And I would draw light in and it was this most pure, beautiful white light. And I was healing things that I didn't even know you could heal because healers don't usually heal those things. All right. I've healed fit heart failure. I've healed Parkinson's. I know what causes that. I know what causes autism. I was seeing all of this stuff and God told me I was going to change the world. He straight said, this is what God told me before I started doing the healings. And after my awakening, he said, you're not like all the others. And I was like, great. Already people are judging me because I'm not normal. And now I have that. <laughs> and people were mean to me too. Let me tell you. He says, you're not like all the others. I need you to allow yourself to be yourself. Accept every bit of who you are. Then change the world and watch the world change. And I'm like, okay, so I'm going to hear, I'm going to heal cancer. That's what I thought. I'm here to do healings. I'm here to cure cancer, right? I'm going to heal it. I'm going to heal autism. That's what I thought. I'm like, that's that's what I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to change the world, right, God? And he's laughing. He's like, oh, no, child. Oh, no. And then I found out I was not human. I'm Pleiadian. And I was like, oh, God. Okay. So now I'm an alien and I'm here to change the world. It's like, I'm crazy. So I had my own mental evaluation done. I really did. I don't know if people know that. And they're like, no, Brie, you're not crazy. And I'm like, but these things are happening to me. And they're like, yeah, well, you're a healer. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. And they're like, Brie, you're not crazy. So then I did another mental evaluation. They're like, no, you're not crazy. I'm like, okay, then I'm going to keep going. And I kept going. I kept allowing it because I couldn't get a diagnosis of crazy, right? I tried. I was in the psychological, I was in the psychology field. 
I was in behavioral, and then I was also a crisis specialist. And so I work in the realm of mental health. And so I was thinking, okay, I've had so much trauma. I watched my dad die. I must be crazy. I didn't know anything about Kundalini awakenings. I didn't know anything about this stuff. You hear about it. You know what I mean? I thought twin flames were a joke. I thought it was just people making it up. Didn't even know I was one. Okay. So I was doing these healings on people. Then all of a sudden God said, hey, do this channel. I'm like, but there's tons of channels out there. Why do I need to do one? And they said, well, but wait, yours is going to be different. I'm like, okay. So I was, I was obedient. I was loyal. I was loyal to the one. I was loyal to God. I was loyal to my heart. That's, that's obedience. Okay. Loyalty, faith, faith in the unseen, faith in what you feel. Okay. Take your freaking power back. Because here's the thing. I hold the keys through. Okay. So let's just, let's just put it this way. If Jesus died for your sins, then why in Revelations 21, 12, which it should be 21, 13, because there's 13 gates, not 12. Do they talk about the 12 gates of tribulation, which are the ones that I activated and opened through all of a sudden I was doing this channel then I was creating Hertz music. It went in like steps. They would tell me do this. So I would teach myself how they're like, do healing music. They were giving me Hertz frequencies. And I'm like, how the hell do I do that? And I researched it and I did it. Okay. So if I tell you, Jesus died for your sins, just repent, just pray. You're screwed. Every one of them that's doing that is praying and, and believing in a false scripture. Okay. Because there's contradictories. So why in that, if, if I just repent and pray, does revelations 21, 12 talk about the 12 gates, the trials of tribulations that I have to go through in order to ascend? Oh, you want me to pray through every gate? Is that going to get it? Is God going to forgive me for all my sins? God doesn't not forgive. He's unconditional love. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense alone. And that takes away my free will. That means that I can sin and sin and sin and sin and sin. But oh, if I just say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm forgiven. What you're not realizing is you're either light or you become darkness. You, you are the one who removes yourself from God, not God. You are the one who creates your own suffering. We have more power than we realize. Okay. You are the one who made choices to fall away from God, to fall away from love. Because if you want to be God, heal your heart and feel unconditional love. Right? So even those who went into judgment against me, can I forgive you? Surely, but it's your job to heal it. It's your job to listen and to find your way back home. Okay. Now, when they tell me I hold the keys, it gets deeper and deeper for me every day because I know people are going to do what they always do. Oh, she just wants money. She just wants this. She just wants that. You want to know something? I don't want no mansion. I don't need all that dirty money because I know it's dirt. I actually put that in a portal too, and it will be karmically cleansed. So we've gone into the karmic timeline. This means you've created through your choices, your own reality in which you live in from this lifetime to every other lifetime you've had. When I activated the Sphinx, which is the portal of time, which was around the time I was activating other pyramids, because that's what came after I started healing people, is I started doing things like I cleared Mount Shasta. Okay. Um, what does that mean? watch my videos because I uploaded the workshop spirit says do these channels do these things and they said do workshops and I'm like what are workshops no idea and at first it came to me in a channeled message which I also showed you guys check this out I'm going to show you where you can find my first workshop people saw it they witnessed it um, but unfortunately when you start going through the gates you have the choice to choose your shadow and a lot of people have chosen again their shadow Okay, I eliminated the false concept of time. Here's the Sphinx, Pharaoh, and God activation portal workshop, 625 of 21. Mount Shasta has part one and part two. This was the day my DM died, so I can get into that too. 
This day happened last year on Christmas. I united Jesus and Mary Magdalene back together, and I undid the false Holy Grail, which was a contract written in Jesus's blood. So he didn't die on a cross. He was murdered by John the Apostle, which is also in the Bible. Wait, what? What? So you're telling me that it's in the Bible, the apocalypse of, of John, right? John the Apostle murdered Jesus? We have the apocalypse of John. But wait, but wait, didn't he die for our sins on a cross? There was no cross involved. The reason they hold him on a cross is to mock God and tell you guys, ha ha, pray to your false God because we're holding his soul hostage. So part of what I did was freed my own soul, my DM side. Jesus is not just Jesus. He's not whole without Mary Magdalene. Adam is not whole without Eve. And Sekhmet is not whole without Horus. Those are my lifetimes that I've cleared. Those are where God was taken from this planet. Okay. The I hold the eye of, of, of Ra. And my DM is supposed to hold the eye of, of Horus. But we couldn't even get him to step forward. The first one ran off with a fallen angel and tried to kill me. That is what happened with Adam and Eve. Adam actually killed Eve, not with his own hands, but with his own choices. And I watched myself die. Around the time I started doing workshops, I had a one-on-one -on -one healing session with somebody that was in this academy that I was with, and she was doing a healing on me. And all of a sudden, I, when that happens, I usually see my own stuff, right? Because I'm a master healer. Um, So I started like, all of a sudden, I... <laughs> Saw myself drowned in Atlantis. I cleared that contract. Then Saturn came in and so did Hermes. And I'm like, what does it mean to sit on the rings of Saturn and lasso Atlantis? And we rose it out of the water. Now I had written a contract that Atlantis would never rise again because I was trying to save my own kids and we drowned. So Adam chose a false goddess. Everybody wanted to blame Eve from eating the apple of the tree. Okay. What you don't realize is even in Jesus's lifetime, his soul was taken. Okay. He had a black hole in his heart and you can go ahead and say I'm wrong, but you're not watching my videos. This was my very first workshop. That's what I was going to show you. I actually uploaded it recently. It started out with me saying things like this one right here, this paper right here. That's how the first one came out. I channeled it on paper. And I was like, what does this mean? I called in the north, the east, the south, and the west, which goes with Revelations 21, 13. Um, it talks about the north, east, south, and the west, and all the apostles who are supposed to hold space for all of those and help bring that through. And we lost a lot of those too. Okay. And I can still feel people in the light, not holding space for what is unconditional love. So we have to be very careful. Because if you think for a second that Jesus died for your sins, you're wrong. So if you watch this video right here, it, I show you my first workshop and I tell you, I'm calling back my power one by one. The tower will rise, right? Like all will be seen, all will be seen so that all can fall. So it will be seen as it falls. Okay. That was my very first workshop. It was like spell casting. And I was like, what is this? Then it got bigger and it got deeper and it got crazier. So this was a Patreon workshop right here that I did, I believe, maybe it was 2020. No, because I did Mount Shasta on 11-11 of 2020. That's when I started clearing Mount Shasta, which was not of God at all. That is where I burned Samael in part two. Part two of Mount Shasta is right here. And I upload these workshops because God tells me to. Otherwise, I would say people are mean and I don't want to. But that is not how God rolls. And that is not how I roll. It's not your fault you're mean. It's because you were taught to be so. You were taught to believe that Jesus died for your sins. So go ahead and sin all you want. Because then all you have to do is say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I repent. What the hell is repentance? I don't even know. Do I tell God sorry? Yeah. Like, oops, I messed up. He's like, stop it. Get up and fix it. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> what? What? Wait. Like, oh, sorry, God, I messed up. I'm so sorry. And he's like, stop doing that. You're making it worse. What does that mean? How am I making it worse by sitting here going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's a very low vibration and you're giving your power away. 
It's your choice to forgive yourself and then to heal it, to see in the ways in which you have created your karma. This is a karmic reality. Even my son sees that. I'm like, oh my gosh, like such smart kids, but of course they are. I do believe the ones in this lifetime were the same ones from, from Atlantis. So what y'all are not realizing. So in this workshop, okay, Atlantis was the time of Adam and Eve. All right. So it was Adam and Eve and they were torn apart. That is God. God made Adam and Eve. They are meant to be together. Always were. Jesus and Mary Magdalene were meant to be together. Sekhmet and Horus were meant to be together. And all of their stories are told in the Bible. They're just manipulated to control you. Okay. All of them were killed. All of them. By by you. <laughs> Not you in particular. But by people choosing the darkness. People choosing to not see God anymore. People choosing, well, I would rather shoot up heroin than care about God. I would rather cheat on my wife because she pisses me off. Or my husband, right? I would rather cheat on my husband. That works both ways. I am not sexist. I am actually both masculine and feminine. My masculine counterpart lives outside of my body. Anybody who's not twin flames, both your masculine and feminine live inside your body. God made Adam and Eve masculine and feminine. Then we had the fallen angel, Samael. Okay. And he wanted God's power. And he says, I can get this. He knew how to change the earth. So God didn't cause that flood. That's what you guys don't realize. Um, they shifted the poles. They created Mount Shasta, which was a false veil. They took the portal of gods, which was in Fiji and closed it off. Okay. Fiji was the original root chakra, and that is actually the portal of gods, okay? Okay, activating Fiji and awakening the god portal, 22521. These are workshops. These are not just me talking about them. And if you go into judgment in them, you cut yourself off from God because it's free will and God doesn't judge. God says, do not judge. I gave you Jesus. I promised you the return of Christ. I promised you the return of my child which is two of us, me and my DM. Okay. I woke up first because I had to save his soul. And in the process of doing that, he chose again, the fallen angels, tried to rip my soul out and put it into a fallen angel, which was around this whole light, this whole time. Okay. So again, activating pyramids in this one, I saw how Jesus died. I thought that was the return of Christ. It was not the whole entire work that I did is a return of Christ because I didn't know this was all a part of my awakening, but yet they want to tell you, don't you worry. Jesus died for your sins on a cross. The reason they depict the cross that way and Jesus on it is like, ha 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 ha. Fuck you. Look what I did to you. Come pray, come eat the bread and the wine that poisoned him. Cause he died a very painful, slow death for a good 20 or 30 minutes being eaten from the inside out because John, the apostle, the own apostle killed him, poisoned him. And then they got Mary Magdalene to take his blood. Do, 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 which I found out on Christmas day of last year and created the false Holy grail, which was a contract written in Jesus's blood through the hands of the forsaken. Okay. And this is what they would depict to you guys and say, oh yes, praise this, praise this false God. Believe that he died for your sins so that you can keep sinning so that you feel okay in doing so. They raped you multiple times, forward, backwards, upside down. And maybe that's gruesome thought, but it's true. And all of you just kept going, okay. And then they get you to believe that you're, you're your slaves. They enslaved you. Okay. Now, while my DM, there was an attack on my DM. Okay. And I said this attack on me and my DM battle of life for my other half my soulmate me i choose love i choose life we kept i kept and i didn't know this was happening like i knew the pain you guys this was very painful i was literally being attacked from the inside inside out there were several attacks and i have an alchemy academy because spirits like hey share your light teach people how to heal because i've cut everything off from that from any kind of connection and i replaced it to the light of god okay so Jesus was poisoned, 
happened to me in a Patreon workshop. I didn't even know it was coming. All of a sudden I saw Jesus in his lifetime and he was poisoned. I felt his pain. It was so painful. I cried. It was horrific pain. Then he started bleeding from every orifice. I didn't know then after that would happen. That's where that one stopped. His soul came up. It rose out of the ground and went into the garden of Eden and became this most beautiful flower, the most beautiful white flower. That's where Jesus's soul went. And I thought that was weird. I'm like, that's weird. He didn't go up. He couldn't have. He was actually alive here. I didn't know that then. But he also couldn't go back into my DM yet. He was supposed to go back into my DM's body fully because we call our power back in this one. But my DM died. He chose not to come. He chose not to come. He chose not to come. And God said enough. Gave him a choice. He made the choice to stay with the fallen angel. God took his light back. Ruin. I felt his heart stop. It was very painful. Ripped his soul out of him. The part of him that was David, because his name was David, stayed, and my twin flame soul part went into a new DM. Now, there's a lot of, of people assuming things about this relationship and about this path. It's a very unique one. As a twin flame, mine and my DM soul all of a sudden went like this. Whoosh, I ended up moving next to him during my awakening. Didn't even know what was happening or why. Didn't even realize he was my twin flame at first, and everybody kept telling me he was not, of course. Um. And I didn't realize that he was a druggie. Uh, he was on a lot of drugs and it was very painful. And again, I chose love. I chose him and our souls went like this. And that is when he took off with the fallen angel. Okay. And tried to kill me again. No, this is all the way back to Adam and Eve. So here's the thing. Adam and Eve came about. Fallen angel Samael's like, watch me fuck with them. I'm going to take your power, God. I can do this on my own. I don't need you which is why you should never worship the angels because they're fallible. They're created by God. God is the only one you should be worshiping and that of his son. Son and daughter, Adam and Eve. What happened to that? Why do we forget about Adam and Eve? Everybody thinks Eve messed us all up. That's why women have pain and labor. Oh, please. You got to be able to feel things. If you're afraid of pain, get on out of here. If you need a pill to live, go on. It's going to hurt you. You need to be able to feel, okay? We need to be able to see the truth. Because if you believe for one second that Jesus is the only one returning, you're wrong. What happened to his feminine counterpart? They're the same freaking soul. There's only slight differences. There's the masculine side, which would be my new DM. I don't know who that is because again, he refused to listen to God. So most of the population is refusing to actually listen to God. Because we have so many misconceptions, so many lies. You're convinced, oh, I don't, I don't have to heal this. I just need to pray for forgiveness. And I hear this time and time and time again. Do I pray? I don't pray like everybody else. I just straight up talk to God. But maybe that's because I see him. I feel him. I am a direct descendant. I have to be to activate pyramids. When I activated pyramids, okay, I used my light. Kundalini is your life force. Kundalini awakening is your life force. This is why not everybody was meant to have one. I don't care who you are. If you paid a guru thousands of dollars to get one, good luck. Only certain people were actually meant to get one because it's your life force energy and it rose, right? You have to be cleared to have it rise. It rose. And then I used my life force energy to do all the work that I did, which was battle all the fallen angels. There was actually more than one. Spirit told me at one point, there's three of them trying to kill me, um, not just one. And in, in each part, I took down one of them. So when I cleared Mount Shasta part two, which was this one, which I finally got to do this last year, even though my DM was supposed to help me and this one hurt really bad. So it took a toll on me. I've gotten blood clots that went to my brain. I almost died. Um, I was attacked by the fallen angels and almost died. It was very painful. Um, but in Mount Shasta part two, I burned Samael through his own choices. Okay. So God doesn't just torture. God doesn't just hurt anybody. When I did this one, free Jesus's soul, I went to bed around that time frame that, that night or the next night, somewhere near there. And all of a sudden I ripped a soul out of somebody. It was the weirdest feeling in the world. And I don't wish it upon my worst enemy. I don't, I don't like to kill people. I don't like to 
to eliminate somebody's soul, but I will if God tells me to. It wasn't physical. You guys, it was in it was in spirituality. It was in the realm because that's how God works. Okay, that's how I work. I go into meditation, I can leave my body. Literally, I can see myself walking out like this white mist. I can do remote healings. I guess you would call them that where I can go to the people. I was doing those. It was really strange. I didn't know what I was doing, but I didn't have to be with you. I could like literally just say, Hey, you want a healing? People would be like, I need a healing. I would be like, okay. And I would go into meditation on my own time. Well, as long as I had their permission, because everything happens through free will, God can't do anything to you outside of free will. That's how, when they tell you, don't worry, Jesus died for your sins. No, but God created everybody. God created Adam and Eve and Adam and Eve created humankind, basically, and the angels. Hey, Prometheus said he's the God of humankind, which I have right here. All right. And so we are responsible. But what that means is you hold God's light in your heart. You are a creation of God, just like the angels, just like I was, but not a direct descendant. But each one of you carry that flame in your heart and your purpose is to return home. Your purpose is to learn love and to shine that light for God, especially the twin flames. Okay. Um, so after I did this one, I went into like a, a sleep um, and sometimes things will come through in sleep, not just meditation. And all of a sudden I, I saw this person and I think it, it may have had to do with John. I don't know. I still don't know to this day who it was. But I had to reach in and draw out their soul. And it was like, ooh, ooh, literally taking the soul out. And I freaked out for like a week. I was like, I'm not a murderer. I'm not a murderer. And then when I cleared Mount Shasta and started activating pyramids, I saw land crumbling and people dying. And I was like, God, I don't want to kill people. And God's like, you're not killing anybody, sweetheart. This is through free will. Everybody has a choice. Everybody makes their own choices to choose to leave God. And you can hear lots of people talk about that, right? Like I left God through sin. Okay. But God forgives all. I loved to smoke pot. If I could, I still would. <laughs> like I would. And sometimes I'm like, why can't I? But once you get through those gates, it's a whole different reality because I've walked through the gates and I've only gotten to walk a few people through because we were supposed to have 10 apostles and they all went into their shadow. So I hold the keys. You have to eliminate your shadow completely, not in layers. You need to draw it to the surface. You need to know how to heal your power and call it back every time, which I do that too for you. I have a path to righteousness. You can also purchase them separately or like, I don't know what else to do. Cause if I give it away, the only thing that I'm coming across with is, okay, there's going to be people who can't afford all this. How do I help them? There has to be some form of even exchange. So that part, maybe I could do individual things. I don't know. Um, but it took me almost four years to create these portals, to open them, to clear every bit of the, the karmic shadow, to eliminate all of these fallen angels, because in each one, I do something else. I remove a dark crystal from the earth and I return God. I brought down Christ's light for over a year through all of the rays, through all the angels. I'm also ascending the angels. And then we also took us into 7D. Where's that one? It was two parts. That was two parts. Here was part one. I activated a dormant chakra system. This was part one to take us into 7D over a year ago. And then part two of that was I anchored us in. So in one of those, we went through a black hole, which was really cool. And it, when, I, when we did that, it was scientifically shown that it some black hole pooped out stars. I was like, dude, that's so cool. So everything I've done has actually been playing out in your reality. That's how spirituality works. That's how energy works. That's how manifesting works. Okay. So essentially you've been praying to a false God. You guys, all of these are on here for you guys to witness. So you can see, because God is asking people to be loyal to him. God is asking for those who can see Christ, who can see Jesus, there's a distorted concept of who Jesus is. I had my awakening and I started doing these things. The first lifetime I cleared was Adam and Eve. Okay, that's when Adam became a fallen individual. He got a black hole. Okay, I cleared that lifetime. Then I started clearing Mount Shasta, which was a lot of trapped souls in there. And that was two parts to do that. 
The first part, I removed all the dark souls and I cleared the chakra because they had stolen the root chakra and put it there. It was never meant to be there. California is so dark. And when I did part two, I cracked all of Mount Shasta. I burned Samael, who was in a cave underneath there. And they would constantly want sacrifice of blood. Why? I don't know. Um, they even said that's why vampires were created. I think I said that in part two of Mount Shasta, which was really strange. And you guys don't have to believe me. Because either you make it or you don't. You can go into judgment against the one who actually brought it about and has the proof that they did it because I'm not afraid. I do one-on-one -on -one healing sessions. I do live healing sessions on there, by the way. You can go on my live videos and I've had healing sessions on their live. I heal ailments. I heal things that most people cannot do. Okay. Because I can also change the earth. I use my light. If I can heal you, I can heal the earth. All right. Then I started waking up my twin flame and his heart was so black. I didn't wake him up in time. I didn't know what was happening. He tried to kill me. It was very, very painful. How I survived him in this lifetime, because I had kids and there was no way in hell I was going to allow them to lose a mommy or stop this journey. So I took all the pain. I swelled up. It was extremely painful. It took everything I had. It took a toll on my whole entire physical body, um, my mental state, everything. I had to undo the false concept of time. I had to undo the darkness of the moon. If you look at my path to righteousness, because all the work that I did, they had me line up for people, for those who choose to go through the gates. Because what you need to do is not beg for forgiveness. God's like, what are you doing? You're hurting yourself because you're creating a scenario where you're in worry, you're in fear, and none of that is of God. Does he have to forgive you? He already does. Jesus didn't die for your sins. You're not cleared. It's your job. Take your power back and heal yourself. God says, I gave you Jesus. I promise the return of Jesus. I can't make the masculine step up. He's almost killed me once. And I don't know if my new one wants to do the same. I don't know. I barely feel him. He didn't show up either. God kept calling him forward and he won't call him forward anymore. But what I can tell you is I completed the work. But Jesus is also Mary Magdalene. Adam is nothing without Eve. Eve is nothing without Adam. I'm still something without my DM because I did all this work on my own, but I'm still not complete without him. Okay. The return of Christ is the union of God's full soul, which was Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary Magdalene, and Sekhmet and Horus. Sekhmet and Horus go to the sun and the moon. I was healing the sun, healing the moon. I called my power back from that time and I dried the Nile. I turned the Nile blood red. I was in a meditation. I just thought we were getting gifts. The half of that meditation was us getting gifts. They just kept giving me gifts. All these angels would line up and give me gifts. I'm like, what is happening? And they were bowing. And I'm like, what does that mean? Stop doing that. <laughs> what is happening? And then they took me and put my feet in water. Then they said I was the queen of life. I was the one. Then the water turned blood red and then it dried up. And after that, I took this dark crystal out of the core of the earth and I re repaired the one that they broke in, the one of God, because underneath the pyramids is the, is the grid. And that is a crystal grid. And I also returned and repaired that. Okay. So this is the return of Christ. This is the true cross. If you truly believe that there's just one person, Jesus is a masculine, you're wrong. It was Jesus and Mary Magdalene. They forgot to tell you that, didn't they? There is talk of Mary Magdalene, but not as much respect as Jesus. Because they ripped him apart from Adam and Eve. And every time they would come back trying to fix that, and people would help rip them apart. Because, oh my gosh, wait, wait, but wait, he died on a cross for your sins. Mm -mm. There was no cross. The cross was broken because they ripped apart your masculine and feminine. The true cross is the onk, which is represented by two sides coming together to make eternity of life. Union. That's God. That's why some people say God is a feminine and a masculine. It's both. Am I Jesus? I'm the female counterpart. When my original DM died, I got a walk-in. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. And God picked somebody with a pure heart, and he still wouldn't step forward because he would run from love. 
So are you running from truth? Are you sitting here listening to those telling you, hey, pray to God and ask for forgiveness. Okay, keep doing that. But what you're doing is creating a scenario that's negative. It's not going to help you. God already forgave you. There's no way he doesn't forgive everybody. He can't, un you know what I mean? Like God is unconditional love. That is a contradiction to saying, oh, please forgive me for my sins. It's your choice. God didn't create the sorrow. God didn't create the death. That was created through choice of individuals. Take your power back. You have to heal it. The path that I created, the things that I do are not normal. It's not like going to a shaman and healing one layer at a time. Okay, so what I actually do, and those that I've walked through the gates, which is only three others, yeah, three others, um, is uh, I take you through the portals. But before I do that, I start calling back your power and I eliminate the entire collective and individual shadow, which I cause it to rise to the surface because you don't want it in your heart. And I awaken you. So I fully awaken you. We start calling your power back. And so here's the thing. If you don't want to pay the whole entire price, get those three things. But then you better choose God through each portal. Okay, because that's your job. I can't force you to clear your karma. That's against free will. This is why I'm telling you, God, God says, here's Jesus. I am asking you to be loyal. Here is God. I returned it. And maybe only the feminine counterpart is making it through at this point. But you know what? There is still two of us here. I still have a masculine somewhere. And if he doesn't make it, I'll probably get another one, which sucks. I don't want to do that again because that hurt really bad. It's not fun. My whole soul changed. Everything changed. It was not fun. So the seriousness of my journey is real. The pain that I've endured to get here is real. The burning of fallen angels is very real. The elimination of all the collective shadow is real. You have to heal it and then choose God through the portals where you once chose the shadow. Every one of you, ha you're neither one... Nobody on this planet is, is completely perfect. We all need to make sure we eliminate every part of ego, judgment, shadow that we were born into. So not just for us, from this lifetime, from all of our lifetimes and of our ancestral line as well. So I have a lot of people in the energy going, I'm good. No, no. Get your shadow completely out of you. It's not just yours you're carrying, but that of every lifetime that you've ever had, because it's a great reset. You will never come back to repeat. You will never have the same family cycle. You have to bring them with you. Do you understand me? This is bigger than you know. It's not as simple as, oh, please forgive me, God. Where is my Jesus, the only man, right? You're wrong. Jesus is a feminine and a masculine and just because we couldn't force the masculine to come forward doesn't mean god didn't promise you what he delivered doesn't mean god didn't deliver what he promised you he did it through me and i saved my soul which allowed us to have a new dm and a final decision on that has been made and i don't even know what that is okay so i could keep talking about this for hours there's a lot to this but I have all the proof on my channel. The thing is, most people go into judgment and that's not loyal to God. I'm not talking out my ass. I'm not crazy. Okay. I didn't expect all this. Sometimes I wish I could go back and have my normal life too. To just be a mom and smoke pot when I want to and not care what people think about me and not put myself on social media because I don't like it. People are mean and it's people that judge. But that's not their hearts. If you awaken truly, which is part of what I do is awaking you. That's why they had me do stepping stones to awakening back in 2019, 2020. Then I heal your power and I have you call it back. Then I eliminate your entire shadow, which makes it rise to the surface. And then you pass through all of the gates that I created. Then you call in Christ's light. You get the DNA activations only when you get your power back through the gates by not choosing the shadow again. So as you rise the shadow to the surface and you go through the gates, you're challenged. That's what Revelations 21, 12 talks about is the 12 gates 
of tribulation, right? I don't read the Bible, but this is what God tells me. And I read glimpses of it after he told me, because that was when I cleared the Nile. I opened up the 13th gate, which was the gate to heaven. There's actually 13, which is why they made that number evil. And God doesn't like the word evil. God doesn't say heaven and hell. It's either you choose love or you don't. And in order to choose love, you better heal your shadow and you better eliminate your ego. God already forgave you. He never non not forgave you. God doesn't create the suffrage here. Everybody here did. Because they took your power and they use it against you and they continue to get you to pray to a false God on a false cross and then tell you, guess what? Jesus died for your sins. So believe this in your heart and just pray for forgiveness. Biggest piece of bullshit. Oh, and Jesus is just a male. God is only masculine. No, God made Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary Magdalene and Sekhmet and Horus. Those other two lives were them trying to come back together and people constantly stopping them by choosing the shadow. John the Apostle murdered Jesus. Toth murdered Horus. It was always the masculine getting murdered and then the feminine getting taken down after. Pay attention. Mary Magdalene didn't die till after Jesus because they got her to partake in writing that contract and one soul cannot survive without the other because it's the same soul. So please stop praying to God for forgiveness and heal it. Call your shadow to the surface and through each portal, you better make damn sure you don't allow the shadow to integrate again. And if you did, get right back up on your job and do the work because God always forgives. We are nothing but love. Even the people who hurt me the most, I still have nothing but love. It's just their job to say, hey, how do I get back on? What do I do? I'm sorry. Not through ego and not through others they think are close to me too, because that's not going to work. You don't know where people are at, so please don't assume. The only thing you need to work on is you. You. Ask God what to do. Follow God and follow the one he brought for you to clear it all. And this is how we did it in the energy. This is what I've undone. And the Nile was very real. The cool part about when I did the Nile is there was actually a river in like China or somewhere, Japan, and it turned blood red from a leaking beer plant. The day after I did the Nile, I was like, oh my God, I can't make this stuff up. God proves to you everything I've done. I can prove to you everything I've done. I do life healings and messages on here all the time. I'm not afraid. I don't ask people, hey, send me questions if you have questions for me. I go on live and say, what are your questions? What do you got for me? I don't have to go and let me, let me do my rituals and let me try to connect. Let me do my voodoo, which is not of God at all. We have a distorted reality. So please stop praying to God. God says, I hear you. But take your power back and heal it. Fix where you chose against me. And I'll be right here waiting for you on the other side. Because the gates opened because of the one that I sent to you to do it. Was it Jesus that did it? Unfortunately not. It was the feminine counterpart. So the title Jesus, let it go. Adam and Eve, hold in your heart. Do not say Jesus without his counterpart. Do not say Adam without his counterpart. Do not say Sekhmet without her counterpart. They go together. That is the complete return of Christ. And God is still waiting on the masculine side to say, hey, God, I'm sorry and I'm loyal to you. But I'm sorry doesn't work. Step up and step through. No excuses. Take your power back. You have the power to choose. Because time is ticking, my friends. So you need to find somebody who spirit saying nobody really can. You have to draw your entire shadow out to the surface to get through those gates and then choose against it every time. Choose love against the shadow. You can't heal the shadow with the shadow. You can't clear your karma with that with which it was created. And God forbid all of those people who are like, I don't want to deal with my shadow. I'm going to bypass it. I'm going to bypass my karma that created more. So know what you're doing. Because I do hold all the keys. And God is only asking you to believe in him and the one in which he brought to you, which was his child. But that's two souls. Adam and Eve 
Jesus and Mary Magdalene and Sekhmet and Horus, and they were ripped apart, which is why your cross was broken. And then they would mock you with how they poisoned and killed Jesus and wrote a contract with his blood and would create this false church to say, come and praise the one, ask for forgiveness. You're, you've been forgiven. Just repent. Do you even know what repent means? I don't. Heal it. Take your power back and please stop praying for forgiveness because you already have it. Forgive yourself. Get your power back. Understand your karma and your shadow and know how to heal it. If you fell off, can you get back on? God says some yes and some no. It depends on how far you went. Okay, so if you still feel the calling in your heart, listen to it. But you got to do the work. Don't make excuses. Don't make excuses. I've had people come to me going, I can't afford this, but I can do this. And you know what? It doesn't stop them. I'm not like, well, I better have your money. I need to be the richest person in the world. And I need to do this and that and this. Fuck money. Money was dirty, 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 dirty. That's why they had the triangle with the eye on it and the pyramid on it. And it was taken from God. And then what do they do with money? Look at your government. We will rape you and take you and make you afraid. And we need power and control and prestige. And only certain people can have lots of money while others suffer. We have homeless people dying every day. Oh, I watched that abandoned show. Have you guys ever watched that show where they explore all these abandoned places? Beautiful, huge mansions just abandoned that they're going to demolish. And I'm like, like, people are homeless over here, dying and suffering. And all you want to do is say, oh, they can't handle life. They're mental. We don't want to be around them. We don't want to help them. What a distorted world what a common misconception and what a tangled web we weave so if money stops you money will stop you if fear stops you fear will be your demise money will be your demise fear will be your demise and if you keep thinking that god needs to forgive you you're praying to the wrong god please stop doing that because i love everybody even those who've hurt me and that's god Okay. Even those who refuse to watch the work, I still pray for them every day. That's where you should pray. Pray that you have the strength. Pray that you can see clearly. Let's turn the prayer inward and pray for your strength, your power, your energy. Tell God where to send you. But God says, hey, I gave you my child and you're mocking her. Where is him? Where is Jesus? Where is the masculine? We got to have the masculine. I'm the same soul. I'm just the feminine side of it. So there's a little part of me that's different. And then there's the twin flame part, which is God. That is Adam and Eve. Did we forget about them? How about Sekhmet and Horus? And then there's Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Stop separating them. Stop separating the eye of Ra and the eye of Horus. Stop separating all of God. And please stop praying to a false God. I am listening to all of these people. I'm not going to show you who it was, but I saw this yesterday. He's literally like, we can't guarantee you the apocalypse is happening. But he goes, I need you to hold and promise in your heart that God forgave you because Jesus died for your sins. And I'm like, that is the scariest thing I've ever heard. If you do that, you won't make it. I don't care how pure you think you are. Every one of you was born into the shadow. Every one of you has multiple lifetimes because it's not just this lifetime that's measured. It's all of them. Do you know what happened last time or last time or last time or last time and how much you picked up karma? No, stop assuming that's your ego. Our job is to say God wants us home. That means I have to heal to my heart space. I have to become a pure soul because that's the only way I'm going to make it here because the Garden of Eden is one of the portals that I did, which you will find on your path to righteousness that I created. But again, I can't make people do it. I cannot make you listen to what God has to say. And everybody's so ingrained into this false God. The only thing you need to pray for is for you to be able to see clearly and find your way home. God already forgave you. Stop thinking it's just Jesus. He and I need to be one. That's the return of Christ. So where he is, 
Even he, he had a hard time listening to God. And if you don't believe me, please watch my channel. Watch the pyramid activations. Can you heal in these ones? No, it has to be an even exchange. Do I have healings on my channel that you can partake in? Yes. I even did a Garden of Eden guided meditation on there. But in that, you have to choose your path. You cannot be in between. When I first also had my awakening, God showed me another image. I was standing there. And on the left of me was all kinds of people in dark. They were just black. It was just blackness. Then on the other side was a whole bunch of people that were white. They were all white. And I was in the middle. And stupid me at the time was like, why am I separate? Because I'm not human. I'm Adam and Eve. I'm Jesus and Mary Magdalene. And I'm Sekhmet and Horus. Please stop separating them. Find true love in your heart. Find forgiveness for yourself. And clear your karma and shadow. Make it through the portals choosing God every way. See clearly the gifts he's given us. See clearly the purpose of my soul and why I was here and the work that I had to done. Because it's the true story of what happened to all of you. You're not enslaved if you don't want to be anymore. The end of days is the end of suffering. The end of fear. The end of sorrow. And the end of separation. God is masculine and feminine. And that is what they took from you. That is why the cross is singular and holds Jesus's soul on it, which is all false and it will all burn. So much love to all of you. Have a beautiful day and take your power back. I'll see you next time. Please stop praying for forgiveness. Jesus didn't die for your sins. Those were your choices. Now choose out of them. I've given you the path home. It's your choice. So much love. See you next time.